Hello everyone, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a USB key logger out of just a regular USB. Just any USB you want. It doesn't have to be like a, like some special like USB hack 5 rubber duck, anything. It can just be any USB that can store files. So, phase one, the setup. We're going to plug our USB into our computer. Plug the USB we're going to use into our computer. Open up the file location. Then go to the link I put in the comments. Or not the comments, the description. <coughs> Sorry if my voice sounds raspy. I'm a little sick. Anyway. Download. Wait till it finishes downloading. You can just close this now. Open it up. Little logs. Take this stuff. Open up your other file. Take this stuff. Drag it in there. Into the password. The password is one, two, three, four, five, six. And you'll receive an error and uh, threat protection. Open the threat protection. You'll see Trojan. Click allow on device just for now. Then click try again. All the files should have moved. You can close this and close this. You can go back to Windows Defender. The threat should have gone now. Like the threat shouldn't be there anymore. Um, but if it still is, then you can just remove the permissions it had because when it was quarantined, it couldn't move anywhere. Because that's what allows the keylogger to work. So it wasn't actually a virus. The only malicious thing it did was allow your keys to be logged when placed into your target's computer. <coughs> so, we're just going to close Windows Defender, and now we're going to get into our target's computer. We're going to unplug the USB. So now this is phase two, trying to get, <coughs> transform the target, the files onto your target's computer. <coughs> So you have the USB, you have to get your target's computer unlocked or get access to it. <coughs> I'm really sorry. Get access to it. Where you can physically transfer the files or just plug in the USB. Okay. So my friend has, let's say my friend has just unlocked his computer and gone upstairs. Let's say that. We're going to plug in our file. Or our USB. Open it up. Then we're going to click create dump. Then we're going to click yes. And we're going to click the one with the underscore and it dot dll underscore. It's unavailable. Okay, so this might happen. So that now we're going to go to create. If that doesn't happen, then it should be fine. But now we're going to go to create dump custom. Finally, I'll put a, uh, documents. It doesn't have to be in documents. It can be in any file location you want. I'm just going to put it in documents because I want to. Click OK. Yes. And double click on when log on. They'll generate access. Then load the location you wanted to put your files in before. Take both of these and drag them in there. And start run this. Double click on it. Okay. And you're all set. You can remove your USB from the target computer now. Now they'll they will return. There'll be no USB or anything as long as it, if the files don't look inconspicuous. Uh, virus protection shouldn't flag them, and if it does, you can just disable it in the time that it took for them. You can allow the the thing on. Then they'll go and type what they want their super secret passwords.
super secret passwords. Then when you, when you want your files, they'll come back, and you'll plug the USB in. And you want the keys that they clicked. Open it up. Open up the file that you place the stuff in. So for me, it'd be documents. Then it sh you s you'll see this access file will have all our stuff. You see, it clicked your mom secret password and then like all the keys I clicked. Um, so what you're, you're gonna go ahead and do is transfer the access file right here. Actually, one second. It generated an access file in here too, so we don't we um we don't want this. But we're just gonna delete that. Then once that's deleted, move this access file to here. And you'll notice and when you try to del you then you can just delete the access file that was here. But you'll notice it doesn't work. So to get around that, what you're gonna have to do is Oops. Go to Task Manager. So to actually remove it, you need to go to Task Manager. Once you're in Task Manager, scroll down until you find Windows Logon, which is up here. Close any one of them. It doesn't matter. Just click in Task on one of them. You can close it. You're going to go here. Click Delete. Try again. Uh, apparently, did I get really lucky in my testing? Hold on. I'm sorry about this. Task manager. Ah, here we go. So not these, not not these tons of ones. It's these two. I just messed up. One of these two. You have to close either Windows logon application. They're they're identical. Close one of them. I'm going to choose this one, so there should only be one left. Now you can actually close this. And then you can click on this and delete it. Are you kidding me? How lucky did I get in my testing phase? Okay. Oh my gosh. Close this logon, I guess, as well. I guess. Now you should be able to delete it. There we go. So I guess you have to close both. I didn't know. Then we've already created this in here. So now you can also delete the access file. And then you can just close this. And remove the USB from Target's computer. Now there will be literally no traces of the keys you just logged on their computer. So then you're going to come back to your computer, plug in the USB, go into your USB, you can use access, so it, now you can see all the keys, keys they clicked, and where they were, the date, you know, what key it was, it's like, you see, I press key shift sometimes so that will tell you that your mom was capitalized. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Anyway. So, what I would do is if it no if it's nothing important, you can just delete it. But if it is something you want to keep, you can like drag it to your desktop, then just delete it. And it'll still be there. I'm going to delete that because I don't need it anymore. And then, then the next time you want to keep key logging, it'll just follow the guide again. I really hope this helped. And it was a ton of fun, like, figuring out the stuff. And I really hope this helped. If you have any questions and this doesn't work, uh, just leave them in the comments. And because I would be hopeful to get at least one comment, uh, I'm definitely going to respond to you. See you.